Coffee. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> From us and a million mosquitoes. We are in Cayucosta State Park in the summertime. Hence the fact that we're still in the tent. If you play your cards right, you can enjoy most of your time here. But the big plus of having all the bugs here this time of year is that it has run off all the people. There's no other campers on this island. Well, there's one group camping in a cabin. There's one group camping. They're from Silva. That's where I'm from. Literally right down the road from where we live. Yeah, Literally. all the way down here in South Florida. Like, what are the odds that the only people on this whole island are, are from, from my same hometown? <laughs> it's crazy. It's pretty wild. But yeah, this is just such a special place. It's super cool. It's a state park, so it's totally protected. And it's just one of the few, well, it's the only beach I've ever been to where you are at the beach and you can turn around and not see any houses, any hotels. It's just totally natural, all jungle. We've seen tons of wildlife. Now, apparently this place, like for thousands of years, was fishing grounds for the Calusa Indians, but thankfully it never really wound up getting like developed by the English settlers. So it's kind of remained pretty pristine. There were some like really small fishing villages here and there but that's the most development that this island has ever seen. So it really is like very close to its original natural state, which is very unique. Look at that anklet tan line. Oh my gosh. Oh, so white. This is my normal colors. That is the kind of sun that we have been getting in Florida. I mean, it is no joke, son. Oh, get a tan in 20 minutes. And in 25, you can be burnt to a crisp. One must, <laughs> must. Wear suntan lotion here. Vamos a la playa.
being pretty cautious. This is uh, the most shark infested water in Florida, arguably. <laughs> and there are huge sharks out here. There's a guy shark fishing at night and he's catching huge sharks. We've yeah. already seen a couple of them. And they might necessarily want to eat you, but since we all watch Jaws, nobody wants to mess around with those sharks. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool though. It's like, I feel like I'm looking at one of those I Spy books. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like, there's just such an incredible diversity of stuff down there. It's so cool. know if I got that on camera. I just freaked out because all of a sudden I was like, wait, are manatees dangerous? I don't know anything about manatees. Is it safe? Yeah, they're not mean. They like to drink water out of hoses at the docks. You can put a hose in, they'll come up and drink water. I kind of panicked. <laughs> we just saw his tail slip over there. I don't think I could get out there by the time he'd be there. Oh yeah, he's me. I also swam with a stingray. Did you? Yeah. It was, no, it was small. Well, yeah, it was probably like the size of my tummy. Go get him. Go get him. Oh my gosh. Right there. Wow. Well, that was just the coolest thing ever. I can mark swimming with manatees off of my bucket list. <laughs> uh, might have scared the absolute of me. I didn't know if it was a shark or what at first and then once I realized it was a man there I still didn't know if it was safe but oh that was so cool. Okay so we learned upon further investigation that manatees are totally docile and in fact they often approach swimmers or divers to get a belly rub so that's why he was so close he just wanted his little manatee belly rub. The more you know. Oh yeah? It's a hot sun. Maybe I should put my shirt on. So many birds. Why are there so many? Because that's where the fresh water comes in and then they can eat. Fish love it. Like Brandon mentioned, there's a freshwater lake that flows in to the ocean here, to the Gulf of Mexico. And I don't think we're gonna go swimming there because there's alligators and whatnot. But it does create a really cool environment here and the shells are beautiful. That is wild. And then I found this black. Oh, that one is so pretty. What about that one? Oh, it's like iridescent. So cool.
We totally just saw another manatee. But, oh wait, is this one? Uh -huh. Do the manatee call. Yeah, boy. <laughs> call it like a sea cow. Oh. How do you call cows? Yeah, many, many, many teeth. Here, boy or girl. <laughs> That's totally gonna work, huh? Lovely day it's been on the beach. Another nine to fiver. We're about totally sunned out, so we're gonna go enjoy the best amenity on the whole island. Cold shower. Cold shower. <sighs> Cheers, mate. Okay. Time to switch out bikinis. So I can rinse and repeat to mom. <laughs> Tonight we are enjoying some coconut lime rice and some everyday china. And Brandon has decided to whip up some fried bagels for dessert, which actually sounds amazing. We bought too many for breakfast, so. We're improvising. Last but not least, a beautiful sunset in the day. Did you know that Sally never had to sell a seashell around here because there's so many she couldn't do it. That's why Sally sells seashells at a different seashore. <laughs>